Thanks to the Vancouver Tourism Office, we were able to do a lot of activities. Today, we started with the Vancouver City Highlights Tour by bus. The nine totem poles at Brockton Point in the middle of Stanley Park are BC's most visited tourist attraction. The totem was the British Columbia Indians' coat of arms. Totem poles are unique to the northwest coast of BC and lower Alaska. Each carving on each pole has a meaning. The eagle represents the kingdom of the air, the whale the lordship of the sea, the wolf the genius of the land, and the frog the transitional link between land and sea. Idyll is situated on a peninsula at the northwestern edge of downtown Vancouver, Stanley Park attracts 8 million visitors each year. Featuring lovely beaches, miles of well-maintained pebble and dirty trails, Canada's largest aquarium, this 400 hectare heaven is recognized as one of the greatest urban parks in the world. Unlike other large urban parks, Stanley Park is not the creation of a landscape architect, but rather the evolution of a forest and urban space over many years. The maple leaf is the characteristic leaf of the maple tree and is the most widely recognized national symbol of Canada. The Lions Gate Bridge opened in 1938, officially known as the first narrow bridge. This bridge you can see behind us is the Lions Gate Bridge. Was the one that brought us from Vancouver to Horseshoe Bay. The term Lions Gate refers to the lions, a pair of mountain peaks north of Vancouver. Located on the eastern side of downtown Vancouver, the bustling district is North America's third largest Chinatown by population after those in San Francisco and New York. The ghetto grew into a proud center of Chinese culture, home to traditional restaurants, markets, temples and gardens. Vancouver Lookout at Harbour Centre is the best first stop, with a spectacular 360 view of Metro Vancouver, the majestic North Shore Mountains and perhaps even Vancouver Island just off the Pacific coast. Your experience starts as you climb the outside of the building in an exterior glass elevator, where in 40 seconds you are whisked from street level to the observation deck. Upon arrival, 167 meters above sea level, you are looking down and you can see all from here. This is how you make the time lapse with your iPhone 7. In the early 1900s, Granville Island was home to factories, plants and sawmills. Things are a little different today. And every city needs art, and art has to be in the middle of the people. Granville Island is both a local's favorite and huge draw for visitors. The Granville Island Public Market acts as a hub of activity, but it's also one of the city's most important cultural districts, with theaters, artisan workshops and craft studios.
enjoy the Vancouver skyline from a boat. Yeah.